You don't know, Jenny. So I don't think you do. Don't protect like you act you don't know. We all know all things. We're crazy, I miss you. You're not. I'm a bit better than you. Scare on my face. Else we got plums to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I know matter doesn't just disappear, Gene. I know matter is an aspect of reality that doesn't just move, it'll function and disappear. You know what? All matter is reality. That's what I see it as. You don't need this fluid bullshit you've got going on in your feminine ways. The spiritual nature of your delusion is a little too much for me to handle in this optic. I want you to tell me how much time I've got to work this out. This in the name of God it might be Jeffrey. I know, I know, I'm not mocking the Lord. I'm trying to speak English under many years of studying religion, okay? I understand so much more than the average punter about the Bible. I went to two very deeply profound boarding schools of Christian tutelage in the Word. I know what I'm talking about at some degree of biblical inquiry, okay? Right, get this. The name in the original Bible of God is Jehovah, or Yahweh, as traditionally believed, or thought or spelled in two different spellings with two different pronunciations. It stems from the original name of God being YVW, no, forget this right. It's something like YWVH or something like Yovel. That's how you pronounce the name of God. Jehovah, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahweh. They are the same God, the same name and it stems from this four simple character. The point is, is that I think if we if we if we if we force the true English version of etymology into the breath of God, we get something like Jehovah, or Jeffrey, Jeffrey. I'm not mocking. I'm saying maybe God's name. is as simple in the English as we are meant to believe. And God's name could in one translation an understanding of the biblical format be Jeffrey. So Oh, my God.